Expecting to hear from the family of a little girl who drowned at a hotel pool on Sunday. And this comes just a day after that family sued for wrongful death. Our Stephanie Whitfield joins us live this morning with more on that lawsuit. Stephanie, some of these details are very difficult to hear. Yeah, they are. The family says they had rented a room on Saturday to enjoy a day of swimming, and the girl's mom says the eight-year-old got into the hotel's lazy river and never got back out. Now, this happened on Saturday at the Doubletree Hotel along Highway 290 in Northwest Houston. According to the wrongful death lawsuit, the family first noticed Aaliyah Heiko was missing around 5 p.m. Police in Texas Equisearch were eventually able to view security camera footage, which revealed the eight-year-old likely drowned. The lawsuit states the team drained the pool, then used cameras on 20 foot poles to inspect the pipes. Court documents claim little Aaliyah's body was found in the pipes of quote malfunctioning pool equipment. Now the family is seeking more than a million dollars in damages. Again, their attorneys are going to speak at a press conference at 11 o'clock this morning. We've also reached out to the company that owns that hotel, but so far have not heard back. Reporting live in Houston, Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.